Good morning, folks. We're all waiting. Big solar shockwave expected to impact Earth today. Level 4 geomagnetic storm predicted. We'll also go over what we're watching and some top-level science news, but let's start with the last 24 hours on our star. After the X-Class flare we covered in our morning and afternoon videos yesterday, the sun didn't exactly go silent but didn't really enhance the Earth-directed situation either. Another X-Class flare and an M7.7 erupted from the departing spots over at the limb on the right. That grouping is now heading out of view and is unlikely to show up much more on the flare chart again, leaving the Earth-facing spots to do the work. The proton storm did hit level 3 yesterday and is riding near that line still here this morning. Polar regions have been taking extreme proton bombardment for an entire day now. But of course, it was the Earth-directed X-Class flare in CME that we are most concerned about. It is due to impact in the coming hours and NOAA has forecast a KP-8, level 4, geomagnetic storm conditions. We'll see what happens when it arrives, which will be very easy to spot in the solar wind data with things calming down significantly over the last 12 hours, all quiet in near-Earth space right now. Some good news is that these coronal holes are pretty well confined to high latitudes, meaning their faster solar wind streams likely won't directly impact the Earth. And in addition to monitoring the sunspots, I'm also watching this mass of plasma filaments south of the northern coronal hole. Remember, these filaments can erupt without a flare warning. Let's go next to the science articles where we begin with about the 10th study in the last two years waving a red flag on the Atlantic meridional overturning circulation collapse risk. Here they find modern climate models underestimate that risk, which is a little scary given how many of them are already calling for it to happen in the next few years. By the way, that collapse is what happened in the movie The Day After Tomorrow that instantly froze the world. Excellent paper up next here. It seems no matter where they look, they find the connection between solar activity and atmospheric conditions. Here they went to the North Pole and still found an 11-year cycle in stratospheric temperatures matching up perfectly with the 11-year sunspot cycle. Lastly on the article front, long-time watchers know there are hundreds of papers on solar and geomagnetic activity impacting the heart. Here's one more. Not only does this have relevance for solar storms like what's coming today, but for the overall geomagnetic field weakening and the ongoing magnetic pole shift. Remember, we've got the gardening and foraging class at the ranch on Saturday, the 12th. I'll do a Q&A afterwards, then my 40th birthday at the ranch is October 19th. And in November, we will bring back the science conferences, all the relevant information, Q&A time, much more. Links below observerranch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.